It's a cacophony of noise. <laughs> I feel like no matter where I am, if it's in a city or if it's on the countryside or wherever, looking and listening are such a huge part of my practice. The skylights seemed to me like symbolize New York from a very early age, and so it made a lot of sense to pull that into this, uh, into this installation. When I was a young kid, you know, um, my dad would tell us stories about flying into New York. He would always talk about coming into New York, flying into LaGuardia, and how amazing it was to fly so low and close into the city and be able to see all the building tops. And he talked about all the features that he would see that you don't ever see from that vantage point. For me, that was a visual memory that was created from, you know, this storytelling in my family. But I think that the layers to me were really interesting when I moved here, the, the layers of buildings, the sort of time that you could see encapsulated in buildings next to each other that you knew had been built at different times. I mean, I have a lot of different sources for material. A lot of it's found, and there are some shops and junkyards, salvage yards that I go to, and there are different elements that I've picked up from various places. The work that I'm making for the installation is comprised of uh, found skylights. For me, in thinking about what I could bring to the airport, what spoke to me was really uh, about like the process of flying, you know, and like from going to being on the ground to up in the air. And architecturally, skylights allow you to do that, you know, to be on the ground and then look up into the sky or into the air. Many of the skylights are actual old skylights that I've refurbished, putting them together to make these sort of gem shapes, these diamonds or things that sort of float in the air and become a little more jewel-like. And then they're hung in the atrium uh, at many different levels so that they can be seen from every floor throughout the, the opening of the terminal. This atrium that I'm installing in is this odd sort of four-story atrium with a lot of different shapes, openings from one floor to the next floor. The studio is, uh, you know, contained space. It's not huge, so it allows me to have that sort of intimate uh, experience with materials. But it's interesting to go in the real space and then come back to the studio and like lie on the floor and look up from baggage claim at, you know, all of these things sort of hanging in the model and, and sort of getting a better sense of the piece through both of those processes. So in what I do to work in three dimensions, really think about moving around the space and hopefully encouraging people to do that as they're going through the airport. My main thing is I, I, I hope I make things that people will take a minute to look at. Hopefully it speaks to them on some level, but that can be, for each person, it's very different. You know, these are not skylights. I mean, they are, but now they're something else. And are they enough of something else, you know? And is it, is it a good something else? Those are the things people can decide for themselves. <laughs>